Um, so yeah, a lot of questions about hair loss. So <laughs> hair loss, uh, you must understand that we, ha we have hair loss every day, mm -hmm. you know, um, because our hairs over a two year period of time undergo what we call a phase of growth. It's continually growing, 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 growing for about, I'd say about two years. And then that's what you call the anagen or growing phase where going back to my hair root, the hair root here in the, in the, in the, in the middle portion of your, of your skin, it continues to grow, it continues to grow from here so that you have to keep cutting it. It's coming from the root, right? That's called the anagen phase. Then biologically, naturally, God has willed for our hair follicles to go into a rest phase called telogen. So it goes into a short catagen and then the telogen phase, which lasts about two and a half to three months. So two years of continually growing, so every month or two or three you have it cut, and then all of a sudden it no longer. And that's about 85% of your hairs are in the growth phase. Then it goes into telogen, that's about 15% of your hairs. So that, because of that, after about two and a half to three months is what I said, when the bulb that was went into so quiescence and wasn't producing any hairs, it rests, it then begins to grow again, like a seed has now sprouted a new hair, and it pushes the old hair that was there, and, and that's why... Out, it falls. Yes. Okay, those so, are your telogens. But here's the thing. Okay, Sorry, we're talking about hair loss, hair loss, hair loss, right? Yes. Hair loss may or may not be affected by your shampoo and conditioner, or rather, shampoo, conditioner, anything that you put on your hair can certainly help or hurt the hair loss, right? Right. But hair loss is also very frequently a hormonal condition mm -hmm. that is hereditary, right? So the most common is the andro, uh, no? androgen The male androgenetic alopecia. alopecia. Mm -hmm. And the female, which they now call differently. They don't call it female androgenetic alopecia. It's just female alopecia, I think, because they're not all due to the androgens. In the male, it's because Androgen. they have hormones, the male hormones, which uh, as they grow older becomes depleted. And so then they start to shed hairs in those who have the gene for it. That's why it's called andro, the androgen, genetic mm -hmm. alopecia. Right. And you know, it's a uh, it's a tougher trait. thing to fight. Let's yeah. say, but there are uh, lots of things that can be done for it. Exactly, now. exactly. So to to add to that, let's say that you have androgenetic alopecia, right? And you also use w very fragranced um, or very strong shampoos and conditioners and gels with mega allergens in it, and then you don't get enough sleep, you don't exercise, you eat junk food all the time, you're hyper stressed you're basically helping the alopecia along. Mm -hmm. You are helping the baldness along mm -hmm. because you're causing all this inflammation, correct? correct. If you eat an anti-inflammatory diet, very healthy, you get seven to eight hours of sleep a night, you manage your stress, you exercise, you do all these things, and you use allergen-free stuff on your hair and your scalp, maybe you won't stop the baldness, but, but at least you're not encouraging it forward, right? right? right. <laughs> so. Very good. There. 